Hi guys, welcome to ACE Teachers Online, a series of online tutorials for students. My name is Kajanen and today we're doing a back titration question from Acidic Environment. Your question is appearing on your screen right now. This is an example of a back titration question from Acidic Environment. This type of question has come up in the HSC quite frequently in the last couple of years, so it's important you familiarise yourself with the methods involved in solving this sort of problem. So today we have an example of a back titration question. A simple diagram like this will help us to understand the concepts behind the question and allow us to plan our way of working out this problem. So you can see on the board I've drawn a rectangle representing the total amount of sulfuric acid we begin with. So we have 50 mils of one mole per litre sulfuric acid in total. So the first thing we do is react that with the iron in our 5 grams of steel. The remainder will react with potassium hydroxide and we're told we require 15.3 mils of 0.1 mole per litre potassium hydroxide for complete reaction. So the way we're going to go about answering this question is first working out how much sulfuric acid was in excess. If we can work that out, we can then also work out the total amount of sulfuric acid. And by subtracting the two from each other, we can work out the amount of sulfuric acid that actually reacts. And once we've worked that out, we can work out how much iron is in our carbon steel compound. So let's start off with our first step, working out how much sulfuric acid was there in excess. So we'll write an equation to represent our reaction. So we have sulfuric acid reacting with potassium hydroxide forming potassium sulfate and water in a simple acid-base reaction. Don't forget to balance your equation. So we need two moles of potassium hydroxide for every mole of sulfuric acid, forming one mole of potassium sulfate and two moles of water. So let's begin by working out the number of moles of potassium hydroxide using concentration times volume, we have 0 0.10 moles per litre multiplied by 0 0.0153 litres. We know that the number of moles of sulfuric acid in excess is half as much as the number of moles of potassium hydroxide. We can say half times 0 0.10 moles per litre times 0 0.0153 litres. And that gives us a total value of 0 0.000765 moles. So that's how many moles of sulfuric acid we had in excess. Let's now move on to our second step, and that is working out the number of moles of sulfuric acid in total. So, number of moles of sulfuric acid in total equals concentration times volume. This time we have a concentration of one mole per litre and a volume of 50 moles, sorry, 50 millilitres. And therefore we have 0 0.05 moles in total. So we know how much sulfuric acid we have in total we also know how much sulfuric acid was in excess, so we can work out how much sulfuric acid actually reacted by working out the difference between those two values. The number of moles of sulfuric acid that reacts is equal to the total, so 0 0.05 moles, minus 0 0.000765 moles. And that gives us a value of 0 0.00, sorry, 0 0.049235. So we've worked out the total number of sulfuric acid moles that have actually reacted with our iron. So now we can work out how many moles of iron 
reacted with our sulfuric acid. So let's write another equation to represent this reaction. So we've got iron, a metal, reacting with sulfuric acid to form a salt, iron sulfate, and hydrogen gas. We can work out the number of moles of iron using our molar ratio, which is 1 is to 1, to say that it's equal to the number of moles of sulfuric acid which reacts, which we calculated was 0 0.049235 moles. Now, our question wants us to calculate the mass of iron as a percentage of 5 grams. So we need to calculate the mass of iron. Let's do that. So mass of iron equals number of moles times molar mass. So 0 0.049235 moles times 55.85 grams per mole, which is the molar mass of iron. That gives us a total mass of 2.749 seven, 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 four, seven, five grams. Lastly, we need to calculate this mass as a percentage of our total five grams. So the percentage weight per weight of iron is simply 2.749777 over the total, which is five grams, times 100%. And that gives us a final answer of 55%. So, in conclusion, if we were to allocate marks for this question, we would say one mark was for calculating the amount of sulfuric acid moles in excess. One mark would be for working out the number of moles of sulfuric acid that reacts with our iron. One mark would be for working out the mass of iron formed. And one mark for coming up with our final answer, and that's the percentage of iron in our steel alloy. And our marking criteria really reflects the sort of steps we've taken in order to solve this problem. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. Click here for our link to our previous video. Click here for a link to our next video. And see below for a link to our website.